the pen I can stand if co-workers don't use their cell phone ringing on their desk. Some sentences use a relative Hi, Lydia. Hello, Lydia. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hey, how are you? How was your weekend? Fine. It was good? Oh, you're a bit sick? But all fine. All right. Why? What, what do you get? Um, my hair. All right, well, well, what about your health? Uh, did you get a flu or something? No, no. No? No. All right, all right. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for being early. Um, I'm sending hey. a message to the other guys too. Oh my God, they are late. <laughs> all right, Ellie is here already. Hello, Ellie, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine. Oh, good, Ellie. How was your, um, how was your weekend? Oh, mm, heavy. I don't know what to say. Pesado. Okay, all right. I mean, it was hard, that's how you say it. Okay, it was hard. All right, it was hard. All right, well, I'm glad that you're here, guys, okay? Uh, guys, did we finish section one? Not yet. Oh, why no. not? What happened? Uh, I didn't have the time. Mm, all right, very good. Uh, what about you, um, Lydia? Did you finish section one? No, I don't understand one part, so I don't remember who is, but I don't, I don't understand it. Okay, all right, which part? Can you bring up the platform and uh, tell me which part you're talking about? Okay, I'm going to say you now. All right. <clears throat> all right, what about you, Ellie? Guys, uh, finishing the platform, uh, section number one should be finished. Well, I just, be finished um, by now. Huh? I, I'm gonna work in 1.10 tonight because all I right, didn't know how to. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have, but I forget. Okay, but you forgot. Okay, uh, we're gonna solve some of the the exercises from the section one, um, but I do need you to work on that. Okay. All right. Uh, so which section, which part do you have questions from, uh, Lydia? Oh, give me a moment. All right. My internet is very lazy, teacher. Sorry. All right. It's okay. All right, guys. Um, what about you, Ali? Any question? No. Um, if I had troubles tonight, I issues. If I have issues tonight, I'm gonna let you know. All right. Sounds good. Uh, does anybody know what happened to to the rest of the students? No, 
That's weird. That's weird. Miguel, Miguel is never late. He might have internet issues though. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue talking about clauses. Uh, Ellie, what's uh, what do you remember? What what is a clause, um, Ellie? What do you remember? What do you? What, what, what is you, a clause? What do, you, what do you What do you remember about a clause? Um, a group of words that confirm a sentence. <laughs> okay, all right. You're close. Okay, very close. Okay. All right. All right, almost there. Almost a clause. Yes, a clause. Not a close, a clause. Okay. <laughs> All right, a clause. A clause. No, I don't remember, teacher. All right, very good. Um, Can you refresh our minds? Yes, absolutely. All right, uh, tell me. What is this section 1.5? All right, and what did you find in section 1.5? So I don't understand. Here you say, Right besides their names, whether they are different or typical. So I don't know if I have to write that typical no. or different or what. So. No. Okay. All right. Let's go there. Don't worry. I'll, I'll help you with that. Okay. You all need right. to. You need to write different or typical. Just. Just that. Just the word. Okay. So just the word. All right. Try. 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 Um. Try that answer in one of them and see if it works. First one, different. Okay. You, you, you need to hear the, the audio. Okay, you need to what? Oh, yeah, you need to listen to the audio, yes. Yeah, you need to listen to the audio. Yeah. I listen, but I don't know why the. They, they say at the final, uh, they they said, um, what they think they are so different or typical. So you just need to write. Uh, a sentence. Sorry, I know what's what's the what's the problem here. Thank you. What is the problem? Okay. All right, very good. Uh, I put, I don't put a capital letter, letter in majuscula. Uppercase or, yeah, that's uppercase. Capital letter is uh, an okay. uppercase letter, yeah. Yeah, was, that was the problem. Thank okay. You. All right, very good, okay. All right, I'm glad that you noticed. Uh, did you have any other, any other issues? No, all good. All good. All right, guys. Okay, we're gonna continue now, guys. Um, I've been sending messages to everybody else. Lydia, welcome back, Lydia. Oh, you know what? The one person that is always here is not here. Oh, there you go, Miguel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Good. Good after. All right, uh, guys. Remember to turn on your cameras. All right, Idalia, welcome. Nice to have you here. Miguel, nice to have you here too. Uh, good afternoon, Idalia. <laughs> How are you? How was what happened, Idalia? Oh, your audio is not working this time. Oh, you're muted. Yeah. Yeah. There Hi. You go. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So what happened, Idalia? What happened with what, what happened? What happened with with uh, the time? <laughs> what happened with what? What happened with the time? <laughs> I didn't get it. Um, <clears throat> I'm All sorry. Right. I I was eating. Okay. I mean, it's okay, right? If um. Let's try, even if you're eating guys, connect, okay? I will not tell you anything for, for eating guys, um, but, but please be early, right? So we don't have to, um, so we can start the class early, right? But thank you for being here, Yudali, right? Um, same to you, Miguel, I think that you you're lost uh, internet connectivity because you're never late, or I don't know, what happened? No, my computer was slower than usual. Oh, okay, right. I was gonna say you got a girlfriend, a girlfriend now. 
And that's where you came late. All right, man. Very good. All right. All right, guys. So, um, so time to start, guys. Okay. So, guys, we're going to continue talking about clauses. Okay. Jesus, guys, you're going to get so bored of talking about clauses, guys. All right. Um, so, let me share the presentation here. All right, guys, so we're going to talk about – hold on. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so we're going to talk about relative clauses and noun clauses, guys, okay? All right, but let's take a look at the example, okay? Um, Miguel, help me read the first example. Something that bugs me is – People who take up two seats on a crowded bus. I agree with this. <laughs> very good, guys. All right, very good. Okay, all right. Repeat, guys. Everybody, unmute yourself. Lady, Italia, okay, let's repeat. Something that bugs me, okay? It's, okay, Something that's how you that pronounce it. Something, Something that bugs me. me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. Repeat. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. On a crowded bus. Very good. Okay. Bus. All right, now I want you to take a look at the highlighted, um, uh, the highlighted words. Okay, so which one do you think in this sentence? Which one do you think would be a relative clause? That and who? Very good. Okay, all right. Actually, that and who, guys? Those are relative pronouns. Okay. The clause has more than one word, but you're close, Idalia. You're close, okay? Or uh, so, what do you think? That box. That box me. That box. Very good. <laughs> that box me. Okay. Yeah. And box. would you cut two seats on a crowded cr cr bus? Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, uh, who take up two seats on a crowded bus, okay? Now, guys, let me ask you something. What is the subject of the sentence here? People. Is it people? Or is it something? Something. The something speaks, speaks of the people who take up to, up to two seats on a crowded bus. Okay, very good. Oh, it's the people. All right. So the reason why I'm asking that, guys, is because, is because I want you to understand that a, a relative clause, guys, can uh, can happen in the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? Remember, guys, what is the object of the sentence? We go through that in every class. Um, Lydia, what is the, the object of the sentence? I'm not sure about it. All right, uh, Idalia, what is uh, what is uh, what is the object of the sentence? I don't know, but I could say um, explaining something. Okay. All right. So, guys. The object of a sentence, all right, write it down in your notebook again, guys, okay? Okay, it's what we, you know, what the subject talks about. What is it? So what is it, lady? It's what the subject talks about. Okay, very good. Do my favor, guys. Everybody show me your notebook, okay? I really want to see you writing down, writing down that, guys, because... Uh, we've been through this before, okay? All right, Lydia, uh, Miguel, Lidalia, Eli. Well, Eli, uh, send me a picture of your notebook Picking again. Notes. Very good, yes. Picking All right, good job, Miguel. Notes. Lydia, can you show me your notebook? Here in my phone. All right, uh, try to use your notebook instead, okay? Because I need to see those notes. All right, remember, guys, biomechanics, right? If you write down in your notebook, well, um, well that makes your brain. Um, 
remember things easily, right? Uh, Italia, what are you, where's your notebook, Italia? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't have it here, but because I'm not in my house right now, but I'm taking a screen a screenshot. All right, very good. Uh, for tomorrow, guys, I do need you to have novels, okay? Uh, I've been explaining to you guys what an object is in every single class. And I understand if you don't remember, but that's because there are no notes, right? If you don't take notes, I don't remember anything if I don't take notes, guys, okay? All right, so just for your own, you know, sake, guys, you know, because you want to learn, take notes, right? So that is the object of a sentence, okay? Very good. So, um, so Lydia, if I ask you again, what is the object of a sentence? What is it? Is what the subject talks about. Very good. It's what the subject talks about, right? Very good. All right. So the subject of the sentence here, Miguel, where is the subject? Can you identify the subject of the sentence here? Mm. Subject will be first person, I think. Okay. What about something? What is something here? It's something. The something is not the subject? Yeah, it's the subject. Very good. So a relative clause, guys. Write that down, guys. Okay, we're going to see these guys, but a relative clause. Okay. All right. It adds... more information about the subject, okay? Got it? Yeah. So basically that's the, the main purpose, guys, okay? All right, to identify, or you know, you can say, for example, uh, it identifies, or, um, hold on, it identifies the noun that precedes them, okay? All right, or add more information, whatever you want to put in, okay? All right, so now, guys, remember, guys, which, that, whom, how do we call that? How do we call that, guys? How do we call these words? Which, who, Can you that? Uh, relative pronoun? No. Very good, guys. Okay, we call this relative, all right, relative pronouns. Very good. Okay. So we call them relative pronouns. Okay. Now, guys, so a clause, guys, a relative clause will most of the times, guys, be introduced by a relative pronoun. Okay. So this thing right here, something that box me, right, is people who take these guys right here is the information talking about the subject, okay? So a relative pronoun, guys, will be introduced, I mean, a relative clause, guys, will be introduced by a relative pronoun, such as that, which, who, etc. All right? Now, we're going to see uh, more examples about that later, okay? But so far, so good, guys? So far, so good? Clear as tequila? Yes? Yeah. Very good. All right, second example. Idale, help me read. The thing that I can stand is co-workers who that leave their cell phone ringing, ringing on their desk. Very good job. Okay, notice another thing, guys. How many how many relative clauses do we have here? Two. Okay, very good. We have two. Okay, what are those relative clauses? The thing. The thing that I can stand, uh huh. And who or that leave their cell phone ringing under desk. Very good, guys. What about when I say their cell phones, guys? With what is this in grammar? Object. This is the what? Object. This is the object, guys. Okay, it is the object of the sentence. Got it. So that this is, is the reason yeah. why, okay, this is the reason why we say that we can use it, you know, with, uh, in the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? All right, second example. Uh, Miguel, help me read this part right here, please. 
Some sentences use rel a relative clause and a noun clause. <coughs> oh my Second, God. <laughs> a question such as when. Thank you. All right, so, yes. Uh, yes. All right, so uh, some sentences use a relative clause or a noun clause uh, beginning with a question, words such as when, all right? So let's take a look at this example and try to figure out, guys, what's different between, the, what's different between this example and the example prior, all right, the example before. All right, so uh, Lydia, help me read the first example. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. Okay, very good. So, uh, so what do you think about this sentence, guys? Where do you see a relative clause or where do you see a noun clause? A noun clause is... And what is the difference? Can you spot the difference? Uh, well, the noun clause is, in this case, it's only affecting the subject. Well, well the relative clause is, is affecting the object. Okay, all right. What do you think, uh, Ellie? Let's take a look at the second example. Let's read the second example and uh, let's, see, let's see what we can identify. One thing, Tom. For me is when my friends don't show up on time the thing for things. Um uh -huh. it's mentioned in the object at the first time, I don't know. Um and then that. Okay. All and right. what was the question? I'm sorry, I was I was, I right, was so, reading the so, no. so can you identify, can you identify if there is any multiple clause or an out in a, or an out clause? I didn't hear you well because the dog. Yeah, can you, can you identify uh, if there is a relative clause or a noun clause? Uh, okay. Relative, maybe it's when. <laughs> okay, when, when, what? When, 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 when my friends don't show up for the scene. Thing. Okay. All right, guys. So the reason, the reason why, guys. Okay. Notice this, guys. So what follows? Let me ask you something, um, Miguel. So after the relative pronoun, what follows the relative pronoun after? So you have a relative pronoun here, right? So what is this thing? Uh, subject or verb. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Okay, Miguel got it. What is the thing? Here? A verb. Okay. It is a verb. Okay. All right. Now let me ask you something oh, I... else. What is this here? Stand. What is that, Idalia? A verb. All right, it is a verb. Very good. Livia, what is this here? Take up. <coughs> a verb, I think. All right, it's a phrasal verb, but it's still a verb, right? Take up, it's a phrasal verb. All right. Uh, what is this here? A verb. All right, it's also a verb, okay? Very good. Now, let's take a look at the other thing, uh, the, uh, the other thing, uh, the, other, uh, the other example here, guys, at uh, the other sentence, okay? All right, let's take a look at this. What is this, hate? Hate and bothers me, guys, what is that? Those are verbs. Those are verbs, very good. Idalia, now take a look at this, guys. What is this and what is this? The subject. Okay, they are. No, they, they are nouns. Okay, they are. Uh, nouns. Very good. Okay, here. Okay, you have a mm -hmm. noun too. Okay, so which one, guys? Okay, so now, guys, 
which one do you think that is called the noun clause? The one with the noun in it. Very good, guys. The one that has, the, that introduces the noun, okay? All right. So the relative, all right. So um, when we use, guys, the WH word when, we are introducing a noun, okay? All right. Hello, this is when, okay? And I want to meet you now, all right? So you introduce a noun, guys, all right? That's why it's called, it's called a, a, um, a noun clause, all right? So, uh, so far so good, guys. Do you know now how to identify a relative clause, clause and a noun clause? Miguel? I think you do, Miguel. Very good. Uh, what about you, Lydia? Sorry, what do you say? Do you know how to identify a noun clause? Um, I am not sure, but I'm going to say maybe. All right, so try it. Okay, how do I, how do you identify the noun clause here? I think that the noun clause is that. You think that it's this? Okay, very good, Idalia. How do you identify the noun clause here? When a sentence starts with a verb, is a relative clause. Very good. Okay, so this that I hate. What is that? Relative or noun clause? Relative. Okay, this is a relative, right? This is a relative clause. Very good. All right, hey, continue, Dali. You got it. I think that you got it, Dali. Huh? What else? Yeah. And when you're talking about a noun, it's a noun clause. Very good. Okay, all right. So the, the, the clause, guys, act, okay, the clause acts as an adjective, guys, okay? What does an adjective do, uh, Miguel? An adjective uh, modifies the verb. No, that's an ad adverb. <laughs> okay, exactly, that's an adverb, right? An adjective modifies an, uh, a noun, right? Describes mm -hmm. a noun, okay? It describes a noun. So a relative, pro, a relative clause, guys, right? Describes, um, describes the subject of the sentence, okay? Right? Describes, adds more information, okay? So for example, when you say a beautiful person, all right. What is the adjective here? Beautiful. The adjective is beautiful, right? Because we're talking about the person. You can say that person is beautiful. Okay. All right. Is it still an adjective? Even if we use it at the end? Yes, right? Because we're still talking about the person. All right. So in this case, guys, when we say the thing that I hate, okay, that that I hate, guys, are we talking about the thing or not? When I say the thing that I hate, are, are we talking about the thing, guys? Okay, very good. Yeah. We're talking about the thing, okay? All right. Very good, guys, okay? All right. So, help me read, Ellie. Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun. Wait, wait. Um... I don't know why it's calling them because I can't see. All right, very I know good. Also know in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Okay, it's either the subject or the object of a sentence, right? Very good. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me. Maybe it's the presentation. All right, guys. So, all right. You should be able to see better now. Okay, guys. So, uh, so I'm going to ask you this tomorrow, guys. So I hope that you remember it. Uh, or if you're like me, that, you know, uh, that uh, if you're like me, not able to remember everything, I will write it down, okay? Because I'm going to ask you tomorrow, guys. All right? Okay. What is a relative clause? Or how, do, how else do we call a relative clause? So, Lydia, according to what we have on the presentation, what else do we call a relative clause? Like what other name does it receive? Does it get? Adjective clause. Very good. It is an adjective clause. Okay. Tomorrow, guys, I'm gonna ask you about this. Okay. A relative clause is an adjective clause. Why? Because what does an adjective do, uh, Miguel? 
it modifies the subject. It describes, subject. okay, all right? It describes or modifies the subject, right? Okay. Very good. All right, it describes the noun, uh, the noun or a pronoun or, or, or uh, in a sentence. Either the subject or the object of a sentence, okay? Very good. All right. Um, so what do we use, guys? What do we use the relative clauses for? Idalia, help me read. Well, the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Relative or adjective classes give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, guys, it's like when you're gossiping. Do you know what gossip is? You know what gossip is? Lydia, do you know what gossip is? Ellie? No. Maybe, but I don't remember how to very well. All right. Gossip, guys, is like talking, like talking to other people, talking to people, things that 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 you heard, rumors that you heard about like, someone. Like Chambroberto, do you very say? Good, like Chambroberto, exactly right. Okay, Chambroberto is a gossiper, okay? Got it? All right, Lidia, did you get yeah. it, Lidia? Idalia? Yeah, I get it. All right, very good. Okay, so that's a gossip, guys, okay? So a relative clause, guys, is like Chambroberto, right? It talks about the noun. It talks about the the, uh, the pronoun or the noun of the sentence, okay? All right? Because what, guys, is going to add additional information, all right? Now, guys, they are also, guys, toxicos. Why are they toxicos, guys? So, Idalia, why, why are they toxicos? Dependent on another classes. Because they are dependent, okay? They are dependent, guys, okay? They need other classes, okay? They cannot be alone, all right? It's like when your girlfriend leaves you, Miguel, and she has another one already, right? So that's a dependent, she's a dependent class. Got it? <laughs> or your boyfriend, guys. Those, right? They are dependent, right? <laughs> All right, very good. NTR. Exactly. All right, so, uh, so they are dependent, guys, okay? So give me an example of a dependent class, Miguel. I can't think of one right now. Okay. What if I say a dog? Is this a is this a clause? No. A dog it's not. that is barking. A dog that is barking. Very good. All right, very good. A dog that is barking. All right, notice something, guys. When I say, guys, that is barking, is that dependent or independent? Dependent. All right, that is dependent, guys, because if I say a dog that is barking or even that is barking, guys, that doesn't make sense on its own, right? So we need more yeah. information, all right? Yeah. A dog that is barking will never bite. Okay, for example, okay. Now, if I use this, guys, is that is this now a complete clause? Yeah. All right, it is, right? So it is, it makes sense on its own. So that is a dependent clause. Okay, sure. an independent clause, I'm sorry, huh? Tell me. What's the meaning of barking? Barking. Yeah. Barking is when you, when the dog, it's, it's the, the, the sound the, that dogs make when they. Oh, okay. when, yeah. That is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Like, wow, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's not what the sound they make. All right. All right, guys. Uh, very good. Uh, relative clauses. What do we do with relative? What 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 do we do with relative clauses, guys? So. To very good, guys. Okay, we can connect. How many ideas? Ooh. All right, they can help us connect to different ideas, okay? So, for example, that is the school. Now, that, that is the school, guys. Uh, what is this? Is this, uh, is this a dependent clause or an independent clause? 
dependent. dependent. Okay, very good. Why would, would it be dependent? Because it is need to work that to make right. sense. It needs the toxic or the toxic, all right? Very good. It's toxic. All right. I went to that school as a boy. Is this a dependent or independent clause, guys? Independent. Independent, right? So that makes sense on its own, okay? Very good. So far, so good? Yeah. All right, very good. So let's take a look at a few examples, guys. All right. Okay, so um, we already know what relative pronouns are. What are relative pro pronouns? Uh, give me examples of relative pronouns. Uh, Ellie? Who? Very good. Who is an example? Okay, very good. Give me another mm -hmm. example of a relative pronoun. Uh, Lydia? Uh, okay, let me, let me think. Okay. Relative pronoun. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. give me examples of, of relative pronouns. Okay. <coughs> Let me a moment. That's okay. While you think, okay, Idalia, give me examples of relative pronouns. Can I say the ones the whom? Yeah, these are the relative pronouns. Yes. Okay, whom, which, whose, that, where, when, and why. Very good, okay. And what do relative pronouns do, uh, Lydia? Connect, connect ideas and give more information. Very good job. They connect ideas. Good job, okay. All right, guys. Okay, so relative, uh, so a relative clause, guys, will tell, the, will tell us which person, thing, the speakers, the speaker refers to, okay? All right, so let's say for example, guys, uh, if you use who, okay? So let's have an example with who. Um, let's see, guys, I'll give you five seconds to come up with an example, okay? Miguel, give me, give me an example using the relative pronoun who, whatever example. The girl who snitched the night. Okay, now you're using the girl who's, I want you to use who. No, who, who snitched the night. Okay, the girl who's what? Snitched the night. Okay. I who's, am not really sure who's. Who snitched? I got it, I got it, okay. Who snitched? Snitched the night. Okay, the night, like this? No, night. The might? Night. The night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm saying this one because of a painting that I saw. I know, not, man. Not I, I, I absolutely know. <laughs> That's cool, man. All right. Hey, I actually wanted to ask you, man, if you're interested in it. Um, you mentioned that, that you wanted to, um, you actually made, you know, video games before, right? We can work on something, man. All right. I am trying right now. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, so the girl who snitched the night, guys. Very good. All right. So where is the relative clause here? Yeah. Very good. Now, mm -hmm. what? Okay. What other name? What other name does the relative clause have, guys? Uh, Lydia, what other name do do we do we? Uh, what other name does the relative clause have? Adjective. Very good. Okay. It is an adjective clause. Very good. Why? What does an adjective do, uh, Idalia? Describe. It describes what? The subject. It describes the subject or the object, okay? The pronoun or the noun, okay? Very good. In this case, what is the subject of the sentence, uh, Ellie? Subject. Yes. The girl. The girl, guys. Okay, is it a noun or a pronoun? A oh, noun. Very good. It is a noun. What if I say she? Can I say this, guys? Uh, yes, no. guys. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. In that case, is that a pronoun or is that a, a noun? Pronoun. Uh, 
pronoun, but then a pronoun. pronoun. Is it is a pronoun, okay? So we can use it with, okay, Shakira, okay? Or, or the girl, the girl who's, who's niched the night, okay? Now, why, guys? Um, so if I say, guys, who's niched the night, guys? Who are we talking about? Are we talking about the girl or someone or something else? The girl. We are talking about the, the, the girl. So who are we describing? Are we describing the girl? Are we adding more information to the girl? Yeah. Yes, guys. Okay. All right. Does that make sense, guys? Yes? Yes, yes, yes? Yeah. Very good. All right. All right. Uh, Lydia, give me an example with any pronoun that you want. Let's okay. talk about, actually, you know what? Give me, give me an example with things, okay? Which or whose, all right? Okay. I love the dog, which is jumping in the, in my bedroom. In my bedroom, very good. Everybody else, do me a favor and send me examples with whatever pronouns you want. I mean, with whatever relative uh, pronouns that you want to use, okay? Beautiful job. All right. Hey, applause for, applause for Lydia. Good job, Lydia. Very good. Miguel, good job, too. All right. Uh, so, I love the dog which is jumping in the, my bedroom. Do you think that this is correct or incorrect, Didalia? Correct. Okay, very good. It is correct, right? Very good. So, where is the relative clause here? I mean, where is the, where is the relative pronoun here, Italia? Which is jumping. Very good. Okay, where is the subject of the sentence, the Eli? The dog. Very good. Very good. Uh, the dog, right? The dog which is jumping in my bedroom. Good job. Uh, very good. Italia, give me another example. Everybody else, send me an example in the chat room. Okay, let's go, Italia. Okay, my mom. My mom or my mom? My mom. My mom. 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 Like when ah. you say mama, but without ah. Mom. Okay, my mom. Uh huh. <laughs> Who is very angry? Um, okay. Doesn't. Doesn't. Want me. Want me. It'll go. To go. To, the, to go to the party. Yeah. All right. So my mom, who is very angry, doesn't want me to go to the party. All right. Now, yeah. this is a different example, guys. This, this is information that we are adding, but this is optional because we could say my mom doesn't want me to go to the party. See? Yeah. All right. So we have to use a comma there. So how okay. can we make these guys a, um, a proper example? With the same idea. Let's let's use let's use whose. All right, we're gonna use whose. Okay. All right, let's try Miguel. Let's try this one, okay? For it was it which? All right, let's try whose. Whose? Okay. The sword whose scabbard was silver. The the what? I'm sorry. The sword whose scabbard was silver. The sword, it's sword. Yes. All right. So the sword yeah. whose scabbard was silver. Whose scabbard? How do you spell that? S C A B. I can't remember if there's a second B and A R D. A R D, okay, is silver. Okay, very good. Okay, you can say the sword whose scabbard is silver. Okay, very good. All right. Um, all right, guys, good examples. Okay, let me check your examples in the chat room. Only one person sent me an example, guys. I'm waiting for Idalia, Ellie, and Miguel. Thank you, Lydia, the man which is cooking in the restaurant. Okay, now, which is used for, for what, Lydia? 
<laughs> Sorry. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. What can we use for people? Who? Who? Very good. Okay. All right. So it is who. The gnome who was fleeing from the house cat. <laughs> the cat house. No. The house cat. Uh, is that how it's called? Okay. All right. <laughs> you okay? Very good, man. So I, I, like, I, I like I like I like your vocabulary, man. Um, you get a lot of vocabulary from whatever you're reading. Which is very good, man. All right, all right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna continue, guys. Okay, now uh, let's not forget about something, guys. So these are relative pronouns, okay? But we also have relative adverbs because what do they think? What do you think, guys, that they modify? Relative ad relative adverbs. The verbs. Very good, they modify the verbs, guys, okay? That's what we call them relative adverbs, okay? Uh, so let's see. All right, we're gonna see more examples about that, okay? Now, guys, when you use that, that can we can use it instead of what? Uh, Lydia, what can we use that instead of? Who, which, and whom. Very good job, okay? We can use it with who, whom, and which, all right? Good job. All right, so we can substitute, we can substitute these relative pronouns, guys, with that, okay? Very good. So example, guys, we, when we say the students are smart, okay, they are learning to, uh, they are learning uh, relative clauses. How many ideas do we have here, Idalia? Two. Very good, guys. We have two ideas, okay? And and uh, what do we use to what do we use to join two ideas together, guys? Uh, close. Very good. We use we use what, Lydia? Close. We use clauses, okay? So this is one, and this is the second idea. Very good, All right? So we're gonna marry them, guys, okay? All right? We're gonna make them have children. All right, so how do we do that? We use that, we use relative, we're, uh, we use relative pronouns, right? Very good, guys. So the students are smart. All right, so check this out, guys, the students. What is this, guys? The subject. Very good, okay, this is the subject, okay? Uh, Ellie, where is the relative pronoun? Who. Who, okay, very good, Lydia. Uh, what is, uh, what is the, the, the relative clause here? Sorry, what? What is the relative clause here? Who? Okay, no, no, but that is the relative pronoun. What is the relative clause? Uh, let me a moment. I am going to go with my notes. Very good, okay. Good job. Uh, the sentence started with, um, okay. The bear learning. Very good, who are learning, very good job. Okay, so this is guys, okay, who are learning relative clauses are smart, got it? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. All right, yeah. so we got idea one here, we got idea two here, and we are marrying them with, how do we call that? Relative what? Yeah. Relative pronoun, okay? All right, that is a relative pronoun. How do we call this, guys? Relative what? Clauses. Ow. Relative clause, very good, all right? Uh, all right. Now, notice something, guys. The students are smart, meaning, who are the students, guys? What what pronoun are the students? I mean, what pronoun is the students? I'm sorry. This is, this is the pronoun. What? Okay. Hey guys, because we can say they are smart, okay? So what are we substituting, guys, when we say who? They. Very good, guys. Who is substituting the word they? Got it? So let's have more examples, guys. Do you want more examples? Yes. All right, very good. All right, so give me something that substitutes 
day, guys. The substance is they. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. That. That? You mean, you said that? Or... Oh, cats. You mean cats, okay? Now, oh, that okay. cats. Now, notice something, guys. Remember that we're going to use the article that. The reason why, guys, well, actually, we can say cats that are, yeah, we can say cats. All right. But we're most of the time, most of the times, guys, we're going to be specific. Okay? If we're being specific, guys, you have to use the article that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's use the cats. All right. Now, very good. Lydia, give me a relative, uh, the relative pronoun that we need to use here. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Lydia, give me, give me one whole sentence about cats, okay? Just the first idea about cats. Okay. The cat, uh, in plural or singular? The cats, the cats. Okay. Which are, I can use that verb, I can use it with are. Yes, uh, right now, I don't want you to use the relative clause yet. I just want you to give me the first idea, okay? Uh, the uh -huh. cats are eating. 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 Very good. The, cat, the cats are eating. Eating, eating what? Uh, they food. It's food. Okay, their food, okay? The cats are eating, eating their food, okay? All right, uh, give me the second idea, Italia. The cats are blood. They, they, they are what? They are blood. Block. Block? What is block? Block. Like the color? Oh, I'm black. <laughs> Repeat black. Yeah. Black. Okay, they are black. Okay, very good. All right, guys, how many ideas do we have? Two. We have two ideas. Very good. All right, let's join them together. Who wants to try to join them together, guys? Me. All right, very good, Idalia. Let's go. The cat. Very good. The cats. That. That. Uh-huh. Are eating their food. No, no, no. Who, which are. Okay. That, well, we that, can say the cats that. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. That are eating their food. That are, are eating. Just eating in this case, because we already know that they're, you know, uh, okay. or eating the food. Okay, we can say that are, are eating the food. Uh -huh. Are black. Very good. Yeah. Are black. Beautiful. Applause for Italia, guys. Thank you. Beautifully done, guys. Good job, Italia. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ellie's going to invite you to Puyo Campero because of that today, okay? All right. Okay. Come, come to La Union. <laughs> come to, go to La Union. So. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. So let's see, guys. Do you want another example? Or you think uh, you got it? Mm -hmm. I got it. Lydia? Do you uh, want I think example? I got it. But if you can give another example, can be. Very good. All right, let's 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 do another example. Miguel, give me two ideas, Miguel. Miguel is gonna come out with something very crazy right now, guys. Okay, let's go. Right, not really. I like I like I like your crazy ideas, man. That's that's why I'm asking because I, I, I like your vocabulary. No, actually I have an idea right now to give. All right. See I told you. The soldiers. The soldiers, okay. Hey, hold on. Before we proceed, guys. Guys, why am I using that? Why am I using the article that? Because you're, because we are not talking about one specific individual. So uh, that. No, I mean, I, I could have said, for example, guys, I could say students are smart and they are learning relative classes. So students who are learning relative clauses are smart. That would be correct, guys. But I'm talking about like all students in the world, right? Now the students, I'm talking about a specific, uh, the specific type of students, guys. The students who are learning relative clauses, okay? Those specific students, guys, are smart, okay? We're using that, guys, because we're referring to something specific. In this case, to that, that specific group of students, got it? So that's why we're using the soldiers, because we're going to refer to a specific group of soldiers, all right? So the soldiers, very good. Uh, 
who went uh, on a crusade? No. Oh, no, no, no. No, just, just the first idea. Are brave? The soldiers are brave. Very good. The soldiers are brave, guys. Very good. All right. Second idea, guys. All right. So, second idea. This, the soldiers? The soldiers? Well, instead of the soldiers, guys, you can say they. Yes or not? Yeah. Good. All right. So, they? They are hungry. Very good. They are hungry. All right, but just because of the sake of the example, guys, let's see, let's use the soldiers again. The soldiers are hungry. All right, so we have two ideas, yes? Very good. So we have two ideas, guys. All right. All right, so who'd like to try to join them together, guys? Lydia, you want to try, Lydia? Yeah. Very good. All right, let's try to join them. The soldiers who are... <laughs> Hungry, no, who are brave, mm -hmm. are hungry. Okay, are hungry. Very good. Good job, guys. The soldiers who are oh, brave <laughs> are hungry, hungry for power. <laughs> I for said, I said for glory, but that break. Yeah. Okay, hungry, hungry for glory. Okay, hungry, hungry for glory. Okay. All right, we got the poet. Miguel there, okay? Good job, Miguel. It's going to spicy to the sentence. All right, very good. All right, so the soldiers who are brave are hungry for glory, okay? All right, guys. I think that you got it, guys. Congratulations, guys. All right, congratulations to me, guys. I'm a good teacher. Applause for me, guys. Yeah. Woo. Applause. <laughs> now, applause for you guys. I'm kidding. All right, very good. All right, guys. I think that you got that example very, like, you understood that part right there. What time is it? Oh, we only have two minutes, guys, okay? So tomorrow, guys, we're going to continue with <coughs> noun clauses, okay? Um, but very good, guys. Uh, guys, uh, you should have finished the section one, guys, so please, guys, do me a favor. It is very important for me, guys. Finish uh, section one from the platform. Uh, if you have not finished it, finish it today. If you have any questions, guys, you can reach out to me on on WhatsApp, okay? Uh, whatever doubts you have, guys, okay? I just need you to, uh, I just need the, that platform to be completed at 100%. Um, please don't fall behind, guys. Love you all. If you have uh, any questions, guys, just hit me up on WhatsApp. Tomorrow, guys, be be on time so we can start the class on time. But how, how, how did you feel this topic, guys? Did you, did you like it? Did you understand it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Idalia? All right, very good. See, you guys are very smart. All right, guys, so uh, I have another class right now, guys. See you guys. Nice I'll see you tomorrow. You too, guys. Have a nice night. Bye. Good job.